understanding the true value of your house or your condo. This is important to understand so you have a baseline so you know what is involved in making sure that you get the best offer because it's a lot of people they go, you know, they have no idea, especially elderly folks, they have no idea what the value of their property is and then somebody comes along and says, I'll give you half of that, half of whatever the real value is. They don't say those words. But they, you know, but in their mind, they're going, I'll give you half of whatever it is. And that person in their mind goes, wow, that's a steal compared to 20 years ago. Sure. <laughs> right. And they end up losing a lot of money. So understanding the value is really important. And it's really simple. There's a lot of sites that you can go to that will tell you what the value of your property are or give estimates of the value. You can't put all your weight on these estimates, right? Like Zillow, it'll give you a Zestimate. Go to Zillow, type in your address, and it'll give you a price. Go to redfin.com, type in your address, it will give you a price. Go to realtor.com, and it will give you three prices from three different sources. And here's the interesting thing to understand is that as you're doing this research and you're trying to figure out what, what the value of your property is, it's amazing. They're all different. They're all different. So what's the right one? This is, you know, a big part of a lot of people's confusion. It's like, wait a minute, these guys are supposed to be, you know, rocket surgeons that are creating these special algorithms that understand all the details and new and nuances of the real estate marketplace so that they can say, hey, this is what your house is worth, but they're almost always wrong. <laughs> Okay, but it's a good reference point. Also keep in mind that those values that they're giving are assuming that the property is in tip top shape. It is in excellent condition. Start there and then go down. Now, another thing that you can do is you can call a real estate agent and say, give me your estimate of value. Keep in mind, it's all subjective. If you call five different real estate agents, you might find that you get around the same prices, but again, they're still all different. Which one's right? Oh, I know, let's call an appraiser. Let's pay an appraiser to tell us what's right. And a good appraiser will tell you, it's still subjective. It really is, okay? They're gonna do their best to give you actual empirical data that says, okay, based on this, this is what it should be. But in the end of the day, the only price that matters is what price is somebody willing to pay for your property? So figure out the value of your property on a fixed up retail value. And now go around and say, well, gosh, based on the condition of the property, you gotta get all new flooring. It needs paint inside the house. It needs, you know, uh, it needs a new roof, unfortunately. Start adding those things up. And if you go, okay, based on that, let's say my house is a million, let's call it that for easy numbers. Well, there's $150,000 in updating and repairs and the kitchen needs to be updated. Even if it was okay for you, you know, you look at it and you go, oh, it's outdated, not in style by any means right now you know you figure those things in so now so now maybe your house is only worth 850 in its current condition and that's okay it is what it is but now you know where to go because if a cash offer buyer comes in and says hey we're going to offer you six hundred thousand dollars and man we're doing you a favor by taking your house off your hands for six hundred thousand dollars you could at least go mm, no nah, i don't think so i know that we've got more room in there sure they have to make a profit and stuff like that but not that much profit anyway let's move on to the next section